In this video, we're gonna make an Ever House drop like artists as Hugo did in, for example, these tracks. Do you know, baby, the final result will sound something like this. So let's straight dive into it. Let's start off with a vocal. To make this track, we're gonna use our new Afro and Sega sample pack called Masquerade. Let's pick a vocal from the pack. Let's use this one, drop it in, fit it to the tempo. I wanna work in A minor, so we're gonna pitch it down one semitone and drop in an auto tune at A minor to make sure it's in a proper key. Sounding like this. Then just remove the low end. Compress it. Open up the stereo field. And of course finish it off with some reverb and delay. So that's it for the vocal. Now we're gonna play some chords under it. So I dropped in a new serum and let's pick a chord sound from Masquerade. Actually the first one is already really cool with a percussive element in there. Let's start off on the root notes. Then we're gonna go up. Yeah, that's dope. So now we're gonna turn them into full chords. For the A minor one. D minor. C minor. Just like this. First one is a bit too low, so let's spread it out. Let's remove the low end. Just like this. So that's it for the Afro House chords. Now we're gonna layer it with a kick and bass. Let's copy over the root notes of the chords and paste them in a new serum. Pick a bass from Masquerade. Let's use this one and drop it in. We're gonna drop it right here, so eight bars of build up slash pre-chorus and then a drop. As you can hear the bass is moving around a lot, so let's make them low and mono and control the volume a little bit more with some compression. And of course a big side chain to make room for the kick drum. So let's pick a kick from the back. Let's use the spongy one. Sounding like this. Again, really simple, but Afro House is all about keeping it simple and just put together the right elements. So now we're gonna dive into percussion. So now we're gonna dive into percussions. First, I wanna drop in a rim shot. So let's use this one and make this rhythm with it. I also remove the low ends. Then I wanna layer the last one. And bend it to the right. It's really important to bend your drum sounds in your percussion loops to make some room for each other. Also brings the mix way more to life. Then add this one to it. Building it up. So this is our foundation. Then I just want to layer it with some percussion loops on the pack. Already getting your growth going. Just drop in another one. Yeah, it's more like it. Yeah, it's really dope actually. Then we just need a head loop. 
let's use this bit more organic one yeah that's it pretty dope and then i want to add some more top sounds to it so I'll drop in this one and randomize the velocity a little bit something like this something like this then just get rid of the low end so we only use the top end of the sound bend it to the left so the stereo enhancer and a side chain for the bounce again adding something more to it so this will be our FO percussion then just drop in the drum loop at the end of the percussion so all together the FO's percussion sounds like this we already got really dope elements with the vocals, drums, percussions, bass so now it's time to add in the Afro House leads I'm gonna add in two typical Afro House leads the classic synth step and the one that recently became more popular by songs as these so let me know if I should drop a sound design tutorial on any of these sounds as well so let's start off with a new serum and let's pick this one pass lead right here and make some sort of an arc melody like this and of course variation to the fifth note of the scale and the sixth and solid i only want to add a side chain to it and let's filter it during the breakdown and do the same for the mod wheel to create a washout effect and then, and then we're gonna add a typical Afro House lead to it like for example in these tracks just shorten the decay and make it mono I really like the unstable vibe of this sound and then just make the Afro House MIDI just like this and again no no end bit of sidechain drop it in and let the mod wheel open up for this effect so that's it for the lead sounds now we're quickly gonna arrange the track make it a little more interesting so just copy over the perk sounds to the breakdown same for the reese bass just like this we had really minimal elements we create a lot of tension and a lot of energy in the tracks that's the key to Afro house loads of precautions and minimal elements so let me know what you think about it as well in the comments besides that if you like the video please drop a like leave a comment hit that subscribe button and i'll see y'all in the next videos